Welcome to a new season of Opening Drive. It's finally football season. We're here to bring you the best in Mid-Missouri High School football. I'm Peter Terpstra. And I'm Kamen Enchev. And for our first game, we're going to cover Rockbridge against the Smet, the game of the week. It's an exciting one. Two very good teams, two teams we expect to see in the playoffs. But a new season, it's also a new quarterback taking the reins for Rockbridge. Logan Treehouse is only a sophomore, but he is now Rockbridge's new starting quarterback. But luckily for him, he has senior Kenny James, an all-state wide receiver to throw to. Uh, yeah, anybody would be wise as a coach from a game plan standpoint or from a, uh, from a quarterback to you know, really look to put the ball in his hands in any way we can. And they have fun together. Every day in school, hanging out with each other, going to lunch. Uh, you know, anytime we see each other, there's always a little joke going on or something. Smile, laugh. On and off the field at Buffalo Wild Wings, at Chipotle, uh, wherever we go, Six Flags, we, we still friends. We, we friends everywhere. We family. And James is a big fan of Twee House. Logan's a lovable guy. He's, he's a handsome young fella. You know, ladies look out for him. He'll, you'll see him in the hallways walking to Rockbridge. He's a smart quarterback. I like him. I don't know, I don't know about all that, but... Uh, I wish. But Coach knows about Tweehouse's maturity. He's, he's in, extremely instinctual. He, he really understands uh, He understands angles, he understands coverage, he understands ball placement, he understands a lot of things at a really advanced level. But Coach Ofadle is also impressed with Tweehouse's talents. You know, he's had a strong arm, probably the strongest arm we've ever had as a sophomore, which is saying a lot. We've had some pretty special quarterbacks come through here. so. And Coach says not much will change when Tweehouse takes the reins. And, and you know, for us, you know, having a sophomore, you typically feel like you might be hamstrung in some regards, but you know, everything's wide open in our playbook. He can uh, ingest and absorb all of it. So, uh, you know, it's kind of a luxury to have him. Tweehouse believes the team is solid. I'm looking to make a really deep run this year in the playoffs and hopefully a state championship. A quarterback lacking experience, but not confidence. Commandant Chef KOMU8 Sports, Columbia. As you just saw there, it's a confident Rockbridge quarterback, a confident Rockbridge team. It's going to come down to some of the other guys, though. We know Kenny James is going to be there. Treehouse, maybe he'll be good, maybe he won't be, but he's going to need help from the other receivers if Rockbridge wants to succeed. Now, we know all of those guys get the glory, the running backs, quarterbacks, wide receivers, but you know who deserves it? It's the linemen, the big boys, the heavies. Now, speaking of linemen, DeSmet has a really good offensive lineman who's already committed to Missouri, but don't count out Rockbridge. They're two interior defensive linemen combined weight over 700 pounds. Here's why you should watch the Battle of the Trenches on Friday. They're big, like really big. Two defensive tackles, one six foot two, 320 pounds. The other, six foot four, 420 pounds. That's a whole lot of stoppage in the middle of the Rockbridge defense. Uh, I don't know, I just laugh at them. It's kind of hard to block me. I'm not sure if anybody has seen uh, you know, a defensive line at least as big as ours. I know there's not too many TJs running around. Oh. Oh. AJ Logan and TJ Smith make up the meat of Rockbridge, but DeSmet has their own heavy lunch at offensive tackle. Andy Bauer has received offers from eight Division I schools, but gave an early commitment to Missouri. I don't worry about it. People say he's big, but I'm big, so I don't really have to worry about it in many ways. He's offensive tackle. I wish he played interior so we can get a little matchup going on. One thing's for sure, two big bodies in the middle means one big problem for offenses. Our expectations are really high. We, we're counting on those guys a lot. Uh, not only are they big space eaters, but they're also playmakers. We trust each other. I trust him doing his job, he trusts me doing mine, so it just it works out that way. Next on the menu, opposing quarterbacks. Peter Terpster of KOMU8 Sports Columbia. Man, that is a whole lot of meat. I'm feeling really small right now. I think maybe I should hit the protein powder, maybe lift some weights, try to try to up my bulkage a little bit. But we, we've seen Rockbridge, and we see that they have some talented youngsters like they do every year. But we cannot forget about the rest of Mid-Missouri. Yeah, there's a lot of good players in Mid-Missouri. You know, KOMU covers more high school football than just about anyone in the area. So, Peter, you know me. I'm not very common. My name is Common. But I'm not the most common person you'll no, meet out not. there, you know, and that's the lame joke of the day. I, I feel like there's going to be one lame joke every episode. I think I got it today. So, but nonetheless, uh, I'm going to be bringing you the uncommon performance of the week each week. And since we don't have a, a game, we haven't had a game per se, we do have a game Friday, a big one, a lot of big games. But for week one, I just thought you should take a look at a couple guys you should expect to see in this segment. Oh, yeah. 
Let's start with week one's game of the week in Rockbridge senior Kenny James. James was an all-state wide receiver who reeled in 10 receiving touchdowns last season. Staying with the receivers, another all-state player, Heliasis, Andrew Woodruff, who had 805 receiving yards and 8 TDs last year. And to the guys that throw the wideouts the ball, a big name to watch, Blair Oaks' Daniel Castillo. Castillo racked up 2,684 passing yards and 27 touchdowns last season. The All-State QB also ran for 923 yards and 13 touchdowns. And another QB to keep an eye on is Jefferson City's Thomas LePage. LePage, also a dual threat, threw for 13 TDs and ran in six more last year. Look for his numbers to improve this season as Jeff City might pass the ball more this year. And finally, the guys the QBs hand the ball off to Tipton's All-State selection, senior running back Dallas Peoples. In his three seasons, Tipton has not lost a regular season game. Last but not least, another All-State running back in Camdenton's Murphy Ward who had more than 1,700 rushing yards last year. Of course, as we said, KOMU covers a lot of games out there. These aren't the only guys to watch for, but those are the guys I'm keeping an eye on this Friday and so should you. I'm glad you included Dallas Peoples in there. That guy. Gotta love can, the small guys. He can play some football. He might be a class one school, but the dude can play. It'll be really hard to pick against Tipton this year. Speaking of picks. I mean, don't we normally have a segment where, you know, someone picks who wins what games? Now, personally, I think I know a lot about Missouri football. Oh, do you now? I, I, I really think well, I, I guess, do. I guess we'll find out soon. I guess we'll find out. Every week, we're going to bring you Pete's Picks, where I pick the winners of each game, starting now. All I do is win, 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 no matter what. Got money on my mind. Start things off strong. Hickman taking on Lee Summit North Cupcake game. Hickman gets the win. Next up. Jefferson City taking on McClure North in their home opener. They beat McClure North for the fourth year in a row. Upset City. Harrisonville versus Elias. Harrisonville's good. Crusaders are better. Next up, Mexico taking out Lafayette out of St. Joe. Mexico gets the win. Blair Oaks returning to old form. Moberly, they take the loss. Next up, Osage and Fulton. Osage lost a great senior class, but Fulton has a long way to go. California taking on Boonville without Wes Davis. For the Pirates, California gets the win. Shannon Jolly took Eldon to the playoffs last year. They beat Miller Career Academy. For sales, they went winless in districts last season. Look for that streak to continue against Knob Noster. Hallsville, they have a new coach in Devin Johnson. They get their first win of the season at Fayette. Big rivalry game week one, but the Callaway Cup goes to the north side this year. West Strand continues to establish itself as a class one powerhouse. They roll over North Shelby. Tipton wins versus Sacred Heart. Dallas Peoples, enough said. And Salisbury, they're looking for that elusive state title. They smash Scotland County. And your Friday Night Fever game of the week, DeSmet beats the bridge at home. Well, secret's out. I am not picking Rockbridge to win this game on Friday. Yeah, and you know, the local fans, not going to be happy with you, It's okay Peter. to be the villain every once in a while. Come on now. Hey, you went with what you thought. I actually think Rockbridge is going to win. You know, I talked about the offense in my story. You know, I think it's actually going to come down to the defense, though. You know, you look at Rockbridge, nine returning starters on defense, including their safety, Wilson back, and Desmet, the big offensive lineman, the number one prospect projected to be in the class of 2014 coming to Mizzou. He's a great lineman, but Rockbridge has three good ones. The two we saw in your package, right. as well as Baldwin, the defensive end. I think Rockbridge has a better defense. This Met allowed uh, 47 points in the state quarterfinal games. In a big game, Rockbridge allowed 10. So okay, okay. I, think, I think Rockbridge has a better defense that are going to take this one. Now, I'd have to disagree, obviously. I think this game is going to come down to turnovers. Rockbridge, starting the sophomore quarterback, Rockbridge will always have athletic kids. They will always have that receiver, that running back, those skilled guys but turnovers will plague them. That's what I'm predicting this Friday. So that'll do it for us here on the first episode of Opening Drive. Common, what do you got for us? Well, we can't forget to follow us on Twitter. Uh, I'm at Common Enchev. I'm going to spell it for you. I know you can't spell it right. It's not C-O-M-M-O-N. I get asked that all the time, and it's not. You know, by the time you get used to the uncommon performance, maybe you'll spell it, but it's K-A-M-E-N-E-N-T-C-H-E-V. Now, my Twitter name's a little different. It's at PETA Terpstra, just like the Hunger Games. I don't great know if you, movie. I don't know if you've read the books, you know, or, I haven't, or but watched the movie. The movie's great. The movie's great. But let me spell it for you. It's at P E E T A. Terpstra is T E R P S T R A. But don't forget to follow 
KOMU Sports on Twitter, where we will be updating live scores of the game on Friday. You can also like our Facebook page, where we'll be posting tons of pictures and some videos on there for our Friday Night Fever coverage. And be sure to visit KOMU.com, where we will have live score updates as well. And of course, you know, as you said, our, our Twitter names, feel free to tweet us anything. You know, if you have a better idea than me for the Uncommon performance <laughs> or better picks than Pete, you know, go ahead. Tweet at us. Disagree with us. Let's get a little chatter going. I would love to hear your thoughts on my picks, whether you agree or whether you disagree. That would be great. But most of all, make sure you watch Friday, Friday Night, Night Fever. Friday Night Fever on Can't KOMU. Wait. I'm excited. Best high school football coverage in the state of Missouri. That'll do it for us. I'm Peter. This is Common here on Opening Drive. We'll see you next time.